Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about interworking architectures for WLAN and GPRS. Here is a representation of general packet radio service. Here is another representation of general packet radio service. working architectures for WLAN and GPRS. Two generic approaches for interworking for WLAN and GPRS are tight coupling and loose coupling. With tight coupling, the WLAN is connected to the 3GPP, that is GPRS core network, in the same way as any other radio access network, that is RAN, such as GPRS RAN and UMTS terrestrial run that is UTRAN. A GPRS reference diagram with the WLAN coupling points are indicated. In this diagram, MS represents the mobile station, UTRAN represents the UMTS terrestrial radio access network, SGSN represents the serving GPRS support node, GGSN represents the gateway GPRS serving node. HLR represents the home location register. PDN represents the packet data network. In this case, the WLAN data traffic goes through the GPRS core network before reaching the external packet data networks. Here is a representation of tight coupling point. With the tight coupling, the WLAN is connected to either GB or IUPS reference points. Here it is indicated in this diagram. The loose coupling architecture between the GPRS and the WLAN at the GA reference point is indicated. Here is the representation of loose coupling point. This means that with the loose coupling, the WLAN bypasses the GPRS network and provides direct network data access to the external packet data networks, that is PDNs. The trend is to follow the loose coupling approach and use SIM or USIM based authentication and billing. With this loose coupling approach, a subscriber can reuse the SIM card or the use SIM card to access a set of wireless data services over a WLAN. In the tight coupling approach, the 3GPP system based access control and the charging is used. This requires authentication, authorization, and accounting, that is AAA, for the subscribers in the WLAN to be based on the same AAA procedures used in the GPRS system. An access to 3GPP GPRS based services is used to allow the cellular operator to extend access to its GPRS based services to subscribers in a WLAN environment. Also, seamless services scenarios provides seamless service continuity between GPRS and WLAN. The goal of 3GPP circuit switched services is to allow the operators to offer access to circuit switched services, example, normal voice calls from a WLAN system. Seamless mobility for these services is provided. The advantages of tight coupling architecture between IEEE 802.11 WLANs and GPRS are the following. Seamless service continuation across WLAN and the GPRS. The users are able to maintain their data sessions as they move from WLAN to GPRS and vice versa. For services with tight coupling, quality of service requirements, seamless service continuation is subject to WLAN QoS capabilities. Reuse of GPRS AAA. Reuse of GPRS infrastructure. Example, core network resources, 
subscriber databases billing systems and protection of cellular operators investment support of lawful interception for wlan subscribers increased security since gprs authentication and chippering can be used on top of wlan chippering common provisioning and customer care access to core gprs services such as short message service that is sms location based services and multimedia messaging services are available thank you very much for listening this lecture if you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends for further updates kindly subscribe my channel thank you